Okay. And uh, speaking of surprise, haha, uh -huh, we got Lud up against Snake Eyes. Wow, I heard ooze in the crowd. I mean, we'll look at the projector. That's hilarious. <laughs> so, coin ups uh, Ludovic. This guy's got a real sick Chun Li. He's up against Snake Eyes. Quite possibly the best Zangief in the world, period. And that's saying a lot because I know some beastly Zang Zangief players, including my whole Shoujo Zangitan, who was one of my personal favorites for a while, the magical girl Zangief. All right. So actually, um, at a point not long ago, uh, Ricky Ortiz did show me uh, that Chun Li used to have a very favorable matchup against Sangi. What? What? No way. All right. So coin up slud up against Snake Eyes. How is this happening in early pools, guys? Because there are 270 players here, and I've looked at that list, and out of those 270, damn, there's like 100 killers. It's that serious. These guys are all good. All right. So Lud is Chun representing coin up up against Snake Eyes. It's funny, he calls himself Snake Eyes because you never want to actually roll Snake Eyes. Is that the joke there? You rolled Snake Eyes and now you must face Mecha Zangief and get SPD'd ferociously. Oh my goodness, fierce to the stomach. Check his gut. Nice sweep. Let's go, Lud. Snake Eyes, obviously the favorite in this match, so forgive me if I'm a little bit biased, but I want to see Lud do something exceptional here. Oh my goodness, the whiff punishes are real. Do not miss again. The metal's clanking. It's coming for you. Tried to punish there. Oh, the empty green hand. Nice sweep under the fierce. And again, Lud is showing me some of the tools that I've seen from Ricky in this matchup, uh, including that stand forward. Okay, tried to air to air. Oh my goodness, the range on the scoop. Nice. Great roundhouse to the dome. Yo, this is going to be so ridiculous. Yes! The poke game is so real right now. Snake Eyes is threatening with that green hand. There it is. Regular empty green hand. That's been an interesting situation. Lud has tried to react to it. 23 seconds remain in this first round. Nice! Right under again. FADC. Had to. That was unsafe. Got him! Ocean 2! Here comes the buff. Is it enough? That buff on the damage. Ultra 2. Lud took it. Alright, that was clutch. Jump forward. Oh, green hand. Get off. Nice. That was a great time for the bird there. Definitely did not want to. Oh, red focus. Too late. Oh, went for back throw. Okay, snake eyes. Smart stuff. Kept him in the corner. Nice break by Lud. Still, he's in trouble. Come here, woman. Come here, woman. Do you see my range? Some inappropriate touching there from Zanki. I don't know if that's okay, Snake Eyes. She's your competitor, man. Okay. Oh, punish, please. Yes, that was the optimal punish there. Ready with the EX Lightning Legs. not get the third short there. He wanted to combo the green hand, I believe. Got in with the jump in. No anti-air that time by Lud, who had been on point with the crotch throw and crotch rounds before then. So the dynamics of the match are starting to change. I'm really impressed by how patient Snake Eyes is. This is not the type of matchup where as a Zangief player, you can just move forward and maul. You really have to wait for your moment. And uh, Snake Eyes is doing that emphatically. Perfect spacing, perfect punishes, great damage off the jump in there. And was ready for the sweeps afterwards. 
in again. And Lo is forced to spin Bart to back him off. Snake Eyes with a significant lead. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That's all your health. Snake Eyes. All right, so Snake took the first game. All right, so Lud getting some advice from EG's K Brad there. EG's K Brad giving Lud some pointers. We'll see if they take. Okay, air to air roundhouse, jump back roundhouse. Wow, and he was ready with the green hand punish. No, sir. I don't think he wanted that. Now you're punished. Scoop. Wow. Oh man, there's some more good matches coming by the way, guys. Just so you know. Nice sweep. Key cool. That range again. He makes it look like he has the AE range. But this is version 1.4, best believe. We've already had the 1.04 sound glitch happen during a money match on the side. That's the best with Elena. Yeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Nice again. How are you so consistent with that? Look. Ultra 2. Oh, and Lud with the lead. Lud with the lead. What will happen now? Overhead. Wow. Oh my goodness. 360. And Snake Eyes is not hearing it. He wants a run back. Good escape from Lud. So Chun Li's back dash. I heard some people commenting out before. It actually is tied with Roses currently as the fastest in the game. Very great way to escape pressure. Does have some invincibility at the beginning, like most back dashes as well. You don't want to back dash too much though because Snake Eyes loves loves to chase you. Oh my god, he's in. He's in. He is walking Chun Li down. Azanshu, no go. Jump in again. But the back dash. They're traded on the lightning legs. OS sweep. Lud is using all the tricks and techniques. Green hand, red focus. It's over. It's over. Too late, woman. Come here. Final round. All right, so Lud is sitting on three bars. Snake Eyes on very little meter. Oh, the range. The range. Got him. Oh, my goodness. Getting too close, Lud. And Snake Eyes is bringing it back. He's looking like his regular self. SPD again. That might be the end. Yeah, this is the end. Green Hand's going to finish it, I believe. Snake Guy just has to get close enough to land it. Oh, man. That was so good. That was so good. All right. So next match is coming up in just a second. Hang tight, guys. To all the guys who said it's not version 1.04, there you go, fellas. Version 1.04 for you on your screen. Thank you, everyone. All right. So we have confirmation. The version is right. The things are going as they should go. And we're going to continue with the tournament. All right, so the next match we have is going to be uh, Blue Blazer. And his opponent is going to be um, SP Empowerment. Okay, so hopefully I have the sides right. I'm not sure if Blue Blazer is the uh, Goken or if he's the um, T-Hawk player. Okay. Jump fears at the start. Oh my good! Wow, he just focused that? That's how we do it? That's what's hot in the streets is Goken? Just focus those jumpings from T-Hawk? No fear? Anti-air. Palms to the face. 
Oh my goodness, he's wrecking him. What is happening? Uh, so Blue Blazer is the Hulk player. Thank you to the gentleman for pointing that out. Thank you, guys. So Blue Blazer, player two sign. SP Empowerment, player one sign. Empowerment takes the first round. That's why I love you guys, chat. Because you're there to help me just like I'm here to help you guys. Alright. Hadouken. Jump in. Nice anti air. Actually, Goken's anti air has always impressed me because they have those weird low profile angles. Nice! Could not get a real follow up there, but still got the focus out of it. Traded on wake up. What did he wake up with? Some kind of very fast normal. Anti air again. Can't just get at me like that. Ooh, no, sir. I'm big bone and heavy structure just like you are, Tiok. I'm not afraid. SP empowerment. Takes the first one. Aurorius, what drink would I suggest for you as just turning 21? I don't know. Try something basic. Seriously, like a gin and tonic or like a rum and coke. Don't go too crazy. Maybe just a beer even. Alright. He's chucking lots of fireballs. Hadouken. Oh, oh. Nice damage. Got him. Got him. Jump back. Fierce gets nothing. Wow. Good blocks there, but it doesn't look like Tiok has a real opportunity to punish. And in fact, Blue Blaze has been having lots of trouble getting it. Finally gets that light SPD. This is what Tiok needs to get started. 50 50. Got him with the cross up. Oh, that buff. 1.04 specific. Oh, where are you going? Oh, that move sucks. That move sucks. I'm sorry. That's crappy. But still, we're in there. It's not over. Cross up. Oh, my leg. My leg. Anti air. Fireball to the chest. Another one. The plasma's burning him. Oh, where are you going? You can't just focus through because you feel like it. You got to work for it. Don't touch. I have invincibility. Okay. Did not go for the strong follow-up there. Nice cross-up. Oh, get off again. Again, I'm invincible. Done. That's it. All right. SP Empowerment, he was real happy with that victory. I heard uh, some words that are not for little kids being yelled up on the stage. Impressive finish for him. So um, we got another match. I don't know if this is really, is this really a match? All right, this is what they gave me on the piece of paper. I'm not going to say it because I, I want to see if this is really a match or not. If this is really a match, it's going to be crazy. Anyway, guys, uh, before that, I just want to give some love to our sponsors real quick. First off, much love to the fine folks at Dynamic Custom Beeworks. Make sure to check them out. DynamicBeeworks.com. Right now, you can use discount code WINNERBRAWL to get 20% off everything that they make, both their pre-made and their custom Perla Sprites. Uh, these guys make Perla Sprites based on your favorite anime, video games, manga, uh, TV shows, pretty much whatever your heart desires, these guys can do it. DynamicBeeworks.com. You can also follow them on your favorite social media, Twitter and Facebook. And much love to DCB for always blowing it up. They also got their LED sprites in stock. Oh, it's real, guys. It's real. All right. I'm not even going to say this match. I'm just going to let it be a surprise to you folks at home because it's a surprise to me, too. I cannot believe this is a match. Uh, but, yeah, before that, $10 off, 50 or more, use the code WINTER9. Uh, $15 off, $100 or more, use the code BRAWL9. That's at ADOC.com. Okay. All right, so we did have a good match for you guys, but it, it's getting pushed back. It's actually going to be Pi Zeus versus 801 Strider. That is a match, and that is going to happen. Again, Pi Zeus versus Strider. I didn't even know Zeus was here. I thought he couldn't come this weekend. Yeah, obviously that's not happening yet. I got you. All right, so we are going to have Brent is cool uh, from the West Coast versus Shin Phoenix. That's going to be the next matchup. And much love to ADOC.com, of course.
Anyways, also want to give it up to Mad Cats. Much luck to them. Right now, you can pre-order the Tournament Edition 2 Fight Stick from Mad Cats. So if you're looking to pick up a new stick for your PS4, this is for you. Pre-order it now. The TE2 comes with tools to help you modify your stick. Very easy to replace the stick. Parts and buttons. You can also put in custom bezels, custom art, whatever you like. And they also have a great discount for you in, in their store right now. 15% off select Mad Cat's products, including the Kunai, the Strike TE, the MMO TE, and the Rat TE. All great products for you. 15% off. Use the code WINTERBRAWL15. You can also just go to store.madcats.com slash WINTERBRAWL to find all these sales. And Stutterbox says, Shin Phoenix is sponsored by L'Oreal. Um... He, he, he looks like he uses some kind of product in his hair. I'm definitely not going to front about that. His hair is looking pretty good. Shin Phoenix representing DSC. Up against Brent is cool from the West Coast. DSC Shin Phoenix. This should be a cool matchup. Uh, I'm not really sure how to place these two players as far as matchup style. Possibly they are evenly matched or possibly Brent is cool is just a little more experienced than Shin Phoenix. I'm not really sure. This might actually be a very even matchup. About to find out. 